in the area of science and gigantic mysteries, the subject of what existed previously to the gigantic explosion has blended conversations and intrigued characters for quite a while. This huge request doesn't just test how we could decipher the universe. It challenges the genuine furthest limits of human knowledge. Imagine standing at the edge of existence, looking into the colossal shadowiness, and pondering what lay there before our universe was imagined. The event of the Big Bang marked the beginning of time, space, and all that we know. Anyway, was there a second earlier previously this? Could there have been a condition of nothingness? A calm before the cosmic gathering started? And if this is true, was it? Or perhaps there was something much more alarming that existed previously, before time itself. As we jump further into this question, science takes us on a journey past the universe's beginning point into thoughts that challenge our consciousness. Physicist Brian Cox, known for his investigation into the wonders of the universe, suggests that something surprising might have existed before the enormous detonation. He moves us to reconsider our thought of reality and existence. In this examination, we'll dissect the science, the speculation, and the dazzling insider secrets that might make sense of what existed preceding all that. We'll explore thoughts like self-important development, quantum changes, dark energy, and even multiverses. The answers we've revealed might just paralyze you, yet they could likewise open new understandings of our position in the universe. Get ready to jump deep into a world beyond imagination and science, where the obscure still winds around the shadows, leaving scientists floored and sometimes even upset. We ought to explore what existed before the Big Bang and why these theories challenge all that we thought we knew. To appreciate what may have existed before the Big Bang, we first need to painstakingly analyze what the Big Bang truly was. The Big Bang, as scientists define it, refers to the moment when the universe became extremely hot and dense, growing rapidly to set off the development of all matter, energy, and boundless forces. When we look toward the night sky, we see proof of this hot beginning with galaxies spreading out this way and that from an early stage point. However, for what reason did this happen? Furthermore, was there a period before this thick, hot start? As indicated by the theory of enormous expansion, there was without a doubt a previously, and it was not even close to void or peaceful. Vast expansion suggests that before the Big Bang, the universe was in a state that was cold, vacant, and loose, essentially like an immense vacuum. Anyway, this vacuum wasn't entirely unfilled. It contained a gigantic amount of energy that fueled the quick extension of space itself. This extension, called inflation, happened so rapidly that it basically established the groundwork for all that would continue in a part of a subsequent space extended at unfathomable rates until the extension slowed down and the energy changed into matter, particles, and the forces we see as the Big Bang. But what was the nature of this energy? For what reason did it suddenly grow the universe? And why did it stop? Specialists believe that this inestimable expansion made patches of the universe, each experiencing its own Big Bang. Imagine a fabric extending endlessly with minuscule air pockets forming here and there, each air pocket representing a universe, including our own. This thought, called the inflationary multiverse, suggests that there are possibly limitless Big Bangs and an infinite number of universes. Our own is just one of many. This huge, mind-bending reality challenges our understanding of the very universe itself and leaves us with the question, what else is out there? The idea of nothingness before the Big Bang is speculative, not real at any rate, as per our current understanding. Regardless of whether you eliminated all energy, particles, and radiation from the universe, it would still not be genuinely void. Our universe is filled with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and other forces that weave an inevitable embroidered artwork of something, even in its most vacant structure. Regardless of whether we imagine stripping away all of these forces, leaving a dead space, the universe would still generate new kinds of energy. This reality alone is bewildering to specialists, as it suggests that true nothingness might be impossible within our infinite comprehension. Space itself has properties, rules, and constants that prevent it from being totally empty. Imagine creating a region with literally nothing in it. No particles, no radiation, and no energy except quantum fields and major constants. These would still exist, suggesting that this nothingness has properties. For instance, there's a peculiarity called zero-point energy, 
which represents the least possible energy condition of quantum fields. In this state, particles can still momentarily appear and evaporate, making a spooky resonance of movement even in what should be empty space. This challenges our idea of a real void and suggests that yes, even before the Big Bang, there was something that scientists are only beginning to understand. One of the most astounding theories in current cosmology is the chance of timeless expansion. If inflation could cause our universe to exist, it's possible it could continue forever. Brian Cox describes an astonishingly vast inflationary multiverse where universes are infinitely created and continue expanding. Imagine each Big Bang as a flash lighting another universe while inflation continues in different areas, making countless other universes. This cycle could, in theory, go on for eternity. This idea of vast universes gives birth to an enchanting concept of a fractal universe, where each new universe might actually make its own Big Bang. Every universe exists as a separate independent domain, unaffected by the others because of the rapid expansion of space. For researchers, this hypothesis is both exciting and upsetting, as it suggests a never-ending multiverse with no definitive beginning or end. Imagine our universe being just one bit in a giant cosmic structure, forever expanding and constantly making new universes. And what if the disturbing reality is that there is no before or after, but rather a timeless pattern of universes forming and decaying? How we may interpret nothingness changes when we consider quantum field theory. According to this theory, the universe is not just an assortment of matter floating in space. Rather, it's a complex network of energy fields that fill the universe, connecting to create all that we observe. These fields are like invisible seas, with particles acting as waves or disturbances. Even when fields are at their lowest energy level, known as the vacuum state, they are still active. Particles can appear and disappear in these fields momentarily, acquiring energy before returning it. This phenomenon results in virtual particles, substances that immediately exist and then vanish, leaving only a faint memory of their presence. The concept of virtual particles challenges the idea of a real void. Imagine an empty universe where all matter, radiation, and energy are removed. Would you have total nothingness? According to quantum field theory, you wouldn't. Even in a vacuum, fields would remain active, sometimes creating transient particles. This constant movement in what should be nothing suggests that the universe doesn't recognize our concept of emptiness. The fields and forces endure, filling the universe with a hidden energy that prevents absolute nothingness. This understanding raises an intriguing question. If fields make particles and particles make matter, could the universe itself have emerged from this nothingness filled with quantum fields? Dark energy is a mysterious force that currently drives the accelerated expansion of our universe. But did dark energy exist before the Big Bang? From certain perspectives, the fact that dark energy exists today is a leftover of an energy field from before our universe's development. The properties of dark energy seem to suggest a colossal hidden force that might have existed in some form prior to the Big Bang. Some theories suggest that dark energy, in a much stronger state, could have controlled the inflationary stage, causing rapid expansion. The presence of dark energy suggests that regardless of whether our universe were exhausted of all matter and radiation, this force would continue to expand the fabric of space-time. This thought leads to an upsetting question. If dark energy was present before the Big Bang, could it have formed the circumstances that led to the birth of our universe? Could dark energy be the silent architect of inflation or even the true beginning of our universe? As we explore this possibility, we face the potential of dark energy not just as a force shaping our universe, but as a key that could unlock the secrets of the multiverse itself. Another theory that offers an alternative to the Big Bang as the ultimate beginning is cyclic cosmology, the idea that the universe goes through endless cycles of birth, death, and resurrection. In this model, the Big Bang is not a one-time event, but rather part of a timeless rhythm where universes expand, collapse, and then regenerate in another cycle. This theory suggests that our universe might have been reborn from the remnants of a past universe. The process of contraction and expansion in a cyclic pattern would mean that there was never a true beginning, but rather an eternal series of universes emerging, growing, and renewing themselves over and over again. Cyclic cosmology raises significant questions about time, as it suggests that time itself might be cyclical rather than linear. 
If this theory is correct, it could mean that what existed before the Big Bang was just another version of the universe, one that collapsed only to give birth to our current universe. For researchers, this theory offers a rich answer to the question of ultimate origins, proposing that there is no true beginning. The universe has always existed in some form, transcending our ideas of time and existence. Early stage gravitational waves are another intriguing idea that could hold clues to what existed before the Big Bang. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time caused by massive cosmic events, and scientists believe early stage waves, if ever detected, could reveal insights into the universe's earliest moments. These waves could serve as the echoes of what came before the Big Bang. Should they be identified, they might provide proof of the universe's previous states. The potential discovery of early stage gravitational waves would be a groundbreaking breakthrough in our understanding of the cosmos. The idea of eternal universes forming and collapsing, waves disrupting the very fabric of time, and mysterious forces creating and pushing the boundaries of what exists challenges not only our current understanding of the universe, but also forces us to confront our deepest existential questions. As we dive deeper into the mysteries of what existed before the Big Bang, we must explore other speculative theories that could offer glimpses into a universe beyond our own. One such idea is the concept of the no boundary condition proposed by physicist Stephen Hawking and others. This theory suggests that the universe doesn't have a traditional beginning in the sense we understand. There's no singular point of origin. Instead, the universe could be like the surface of a sphere with no edges or boundaries. According to this theory, the universe's beginning is simply an illusion created by the flow of time, which may curve back on itself in such a way that the concept of a start point is redundant. In this view, the Big Bang isn't the origin of the universe but rather the transition point of an ongoing process. If this theory is correct, then asking what happened before the Big Bang becomes a meaningless question, as there was no time before that event. Another theory that takes a radically different approach to the question of what existed before the Big Bang is the idea of a quantum foam. At the smallest scale, the universe is governed by quantum mechanics. And one of the most mind-boggling implications of this is that empty space is not truly empty. Even in a vacuum, quantum fluctuations occur, causing particles to spontaneously pop in and out of existence. These fluctuations may form a sort of foam at the very smallest scales, where space-time itself is subject to turbulence and unpredictable changes. This quantum foam could have been the precursor to the more familiar structure of the universe that we observe today. In this view, the Big Bang could have been the moment when the quantum foam transitioned into the smooth space-time we experience, effectively bringing our universe into existence from a state of extreme quantum uncertainty. This idea has profound implications for our understanding of time, space, and causality. Some scientists have proposed a more philosophical framework for understanding the origin of the universe. The idea of a cosmic egg or a pre-universe that existed in a collapsed state. This speculative model imagines a time when the universe was a single, infinitely dense point, known as a singularity. Before the Big Bang, this singularity might have contained all the mass, energy, and information that would eventually give rise to our entire cosmos. Over time, some suggest, this cosmic egg could have been subject to a kind of cosmic breathing process expanding and contracting in cycles. The birth of our universe could have been the result of one such expansion, and when it eventually reaches its end, it could collapse back into a singularity again. This cycle of birth and rebirth might have continued for eternity, and our current universe might just be the latest iteration of this cosmic cycle. Such a model challenges traditional concepts of linear time and posits that time itself could be cyclical, with no absolute beginning or end. On a more speculative note, some theories suggest the possibility of a multiverse, a collection of parallel universes that each operate under their own set of physical laws. In the context of the multiverse, the Big Bang of our universe might have been just one event among countless others, each giving rise to a different universe. The multiverse theory posits that there could be infinite universes, each with its own unique history, laws of physics, and even different versions of reality. Some scientists believe that the existence of a multiverse could explain certain features of our universe, such as its fine-tuning for life. If there are countless other universes with different properties, then it would be no surprise that one of them is capable of supporting life as we know it. 
The holographic principle is another fascinating theory that suggests the nature of our universe might not be what we think it is. According to this principle, all the information that makes up the universe could be encoded on a two-dimensional surface like a hologram. This concept, which has its roots in black hole physics, suggests that our perception of a three-dimensional universe might be an illusion, a projection of data encoded on a distant surface. If this idea is correct, then the entire universe, and potentially even what came before it, could be seen as an intricate pattern of information. The holographic principle suggests that, much like a hologram, our universe might have originated from a much simpler, lower-dimensional structure, potentially explaining how something as complex as the cosmos could arise from a seemingly empty space. Finally, we must also consider the role of string theory, which proposes that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not particles but rather tiny, vibrating strings. These strings could give rise to everything we experience, from matter to forces, and they exist in higher dimensions beyond the familiar three-dimensional space. Some versions of string theory even suggest the existence of extra dimensions of space that we are unable to perceive directly. In this framework, the Big Bang might have been the result of interactions between these higher dimensional strings, leading to the creation of our universe. If string theory is correct, the universe may have been born from a higher dimensional space that is beyond our current understanding, adding yet another layer to the question of what came before the Big Bang. These theories, ranging from the quantum to the philosophical, all present radically different perspectives on the origins of the universe. While we may not yet have the tools to fully answer the question of what existed before the Big Bang, each new theory brings us a step closer to understanding the nature of our reality and the universe's ultimate origin. Whether through the lens of quantum mechanics, cosmology, or string theory, the search for answers continues to push the boundaries of human knowledge.